Hello and welcome to the 11th lesson in the creation of our school management system. In our previous lesson, we dealt with how to design the interface of our official payment receipts. And in this tutorial, we're going to do with how to design the student enrollment data for MS information. So basically, that is what we're going to be doing in this lesson. So without much ado, let's just dive right into it. So let's just create another sheet here by clicking the plus sign, double click on it just to clear this and then rename it students that is s t u d to stop for short students and this table good this looks okay so now let's give it a tab color just right click on it let's give it a tab color and then give it a, this color will be ideal so we are good to go with this now let's go ahead and start with the designing process now before we do that let's just change the page layouts of the sheets now let's go to the view tab then we go to layouts then we have this now let's just go back to the page layout and then uh, change the orientation to landscape and then we are good to go from there good so here we can start with our designing process now all that so we have here that is uh let's take it from here so let's have the basically the the region see sorry the region here then we also have the district the school is in we also have the circuit and finally we should have the name of the school good this three so we are good to go from there now let's just skip this and then we come to the tenth uh, sheet and then type sn a short serial number so from there i think uh, we can have our serial numbers as follows so here we have class slash form and then the next uh, we should have uh, boys boys here yeah. and then here yeah, we should have uh, girls and then sorry here yeah, we should have total good and then the next we should have sorry here yeah, we should have remarks good so we are good to go from here so we can just go ahead and start and start with the formatting process and all that so uh, let's just go ahead and then uh, adjust the various uh, cells and all that so serial number will be all okay let's just increase it a bit for the sake of this so we go ahead and increase class of form should be increased as well increase it as well this this and then the boys should be increased as well girls will increase it as well total this expand it a bit then remarks column should be well expanded as well you know what the remarks might be but i think um this is okay now let's just go ahead and start uh, checking out a few things that we need to check on now let's just uh, select the okay let's select the entire heading and then uh, format it appropriately so uh with this uh, we need let's just go to the home tab and then the font style should be times new roman we want to center the text and bold it increase the font size a bit oh sorry i'm decreasing it rather increase it good so from there we are good to go now let's just uh, go to the top here and just type enrollment and then you can merge it and center good so we have that as well so let's just select from here sorry i think uh, it should be from here to here can just merge it and center so we can just go ahead and increase the font size and then uh, change the font style the times new roman just bold it oh, sorry bold it increase the font size a bit again but we are good to go from there as well so let's just select this After selecting the first one press and hold control key on the keyboard and then select the rest and give it the same formatting so let's change the font style to times new roman as usual then we go ahead and increase the font size a bit then we bold it so that is okay so we can just go ahead and then adjust it as well so we have this and all that. now let's uh, just give it a heading from here so we can say students enrollment data for MS information good thank you yeah, good to go so you can just uh, match all this from this this angle and then center it very well perfectly 
let's format it a bit so let's increase the font size but again so let's just change the font style to times new roman let's bold it a bit and then okay now let's just give it a background color uh, so we check from here let's give it this color and then text color should be white just to make it look good in it good i think uh, we are good to go from here to as well now be based on the number of uh, teachers let's just since we are dealing with 50 teachers in this of our system let's just go ahead and start the numbering process sorry i mean the the various uh, classes rather sorry it's like we have from kg1 to uh, basic nine we should have 11 classes so one and then two so let's just select this and then uh, should i have now so 11 classes so here so we can just leave this element so we are good to go from here i think this looks okay now and then here we have names of the classes so let's just type kg1 we have kg2 we have basic one we have basic two we have basic three we have basic four we have basic five oh gosh <laughs> sorry let me just say uh, i did this uh, good we have basic five basic six basic seven basic sorry eight then finally basic nine as well so we are good to go let's just select them after selecting the first one press and hold control on the keyboard and select the rest let's just give it the appropriate formatting okay let's see uh yes in the front side times new roman first let's bold them a bit good i think this looks okay but let's increase the font size by one good i think this is okay so let's just do the same thing here press and hold control and select the rest so let's just bold it to the font style times new roman increase the font size by one as well so this looks okay too now let's just go ahead and just type and check the place for the let's see and the teachers uh, name of the head teacher as well as the signature and stamp column so let's do that here but before we do that let's just select the entire content from here to this then give it all bodies so you can see it very clear from this angle so let's give it all bodies we have this so i think this looks okay so we have the enrollment boys girls and then now that one that, that looks okay with this so basically that is our last let's go ahead and create the columns for the, the the head teacher's name and then blah blah all that so the name of head teacher so let's just merge this in center increase okay let's send it back align left increase the font size a bit change the font style times new roman let's bold it good the signature and stamp let's merge it and center as well so let's just align left change the font style to times new roman increase the font size by one and bold it as well so you look to go so let's just increase the font size by one again so at least this looks okay good so i think we are done with this uh, the creation of our what do you call the student and this data table so with this we are going to be copying this to word and then we can use the, the, the function called insert match field to insert all the information from this excel to that so whenever we are adding the, the students both male and female and all that the counting will be done automatically and transferred to word which is going to be saved there for us where we can go ahead 
open it, convert it to PDF, and then for final printing and submission to whoever they're concerned. So I think let's just save our work by pressing the control S on the keyboard. And then say thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in another tutorial or lesson. Bye for now.